Hello guys and welcome back to Songs of Six, where we are building roads, we are trading, we're farming, it's all going on. So, um, yeah, on the subject of trading, we've got 33 furniture and 12 eggs, so, okay, hopefully, hopefully furniture will be sold and then we can um, get some more money towards... Uh, being able to get our first metal shipment in. So uh, yeah, the road is progressing. Maybe, maybe that wasn't the right thing to do at this point. I don't know. Food 635. Do you know what? I think we can afford to um, authorize some more immigrants. And we are. Um, on the first day of autumn, so we've got plenty of food to be able to get us through the winter, so I don't really have uh, too many concerns on that front for the moment. So yeah, the carpenter is carpenting. Um, let's, uh, let's bang the speed up. So we've got plenty of warehouse storage. And uh, the hunter, yeah, we've got absolutely tons of leather. 446. You know, we, we could perhaps get some more tailoring on the go. Let me drop the speed down whilst I just have a little look at how my guys and girls are. So, access to roads now. Happy about that. Quite a bit of noise. Well, that's just... That's it. A bit constipated, but there is a toilet, buddy. There is a toilet. Sleepiness is fine, and thirst. Thirst is the um, is the thing that they're crying out for. Um, but I can't really do anything about that until we um, until we improve our little settlement to the point where we can actually get um, get the distillery. Um, Hmm. Wondering, just I'm just li little, you know, leafing through here, wondering what to do next. Um, yeah, the empty does produce meat. The onyx will produce meat and cotton. So, in terms of cotton, then. We could then build a, I assume, sort of, yeah, just a textile tailor. And that, oh, it needs, um, needs metal though. Okay, so we need to get that, uh, need to get the metal imported. So, how are we doing here? 34, yeah, so you'd think that uh, we'd have enough. Uh, let's have a look. Um, trade. So perhaps I should reduce this down like the eggs were. And let's, uh, let's do that. And, uh, the warehouse is zero. Um, hmm. So export start when the warehouse stock is above 100%. Right, well we will actually, let's just go warehouse stock above 1%. Well, I think above zero, you know, just, well, that should work. That should work. They should be exporting. Um, outbound zero, amount 34, exportable 34. Fine. So we just need somebody to want to buy it, I suppose. Still progressing with the road, and they've got all these little uh, torches to get on with. Wait, why? Oh, it needs metal. Oh, I did, did, really? Torch. Oh dear, it does need metal. I should have gone with a half. 
Ah, that's um hmm. So maybe I should go with um, with a hearth. Uh, do you want a hearth in the building, or do we have it outside here? Um, could be useful for the um, for the cold nights. And a hearth by the um, by the dormitory. Let's go for it, and we'll we'll extend the road a little bit as well. So roads, stone road, and uh, yeah, it can be uh, either side of the uh, well, on this side rather of the hearth. Um, we're okay on wood. We need stone. So let's queue up a uh, clear rock task, because there's loads up here. We can uh, clear up and get the stone from that. Don't reconstruct none. I'll just let the guys... Uh, get the guys clearing and building it. So uh, let's put the speed up. So we've still got capacity in our dormitory, which is good. We're getting on with clearing the uh, area for the hearth. It's still a little bit uncleared for the uh, vegetable farm. It's at 94%, guys. It would not take much. I think I probably need to stop queuing up tasks and let them, uh, let them have a crack at the vegetable farm. I suppose it's autumn, so they've got time. Yeah, quite a bit of rock to clear. Let's, um, let's take on another immigrant. Yeah, authorise. Their expectations continue to increase as we get... Uh, as we get more numbers. How are we doing? We've got 35 furniture. Oh, well, they're bringing they're bringing vegetables now. So they need another a few. Uh, we've got 170 in storage, so we've got plenty. And that will allow for the, uh, the continued expansion. The hearth is... Uh, it's got all the wood it needs. It needs some stone. Which, uh, yeah, they are uh, they're clearing away now. Good. The uh, tailors are worked away. He's working on a pair of trousers, by the look of it. Green trousers. Very fetching. Green and what like green and brown trousers, very very Robin Hood esque. Now, oh, okay, great, these guys are now actually working to till the soil. So we've got plenty of food, which is good. Twelve eggs, thirty-six furniture. So we've produced 24, we haven't, uh, no, one is spoiled through age, we haven't actually got any uh, exported yet. But uh, there are 37 available to export. Perhaps we should um, invest in another carpenters. 
Although another leather tank, because we do have absolutely loads of leather. Would um, would any of the interdots um, produce meat, onyx, oh, yeah, meat and cotton? Okay. I think it is time to mix some animals into uh, our production, into the, into our agriculture. I'll leave it for the moment. Just let them let them finish these tasks I've queued up, albeit they can't finish some of them. The vegetable farm's looking much better now. They're making steady progress, and the uh, the ore is being cleared away up here. So 17.8k in the bank. Uh, was it sort of 30? 30, 30 and 50 we needed for the metal. Um, yeah, absolutely tons of leather stored. But I just think it's it would be a shame to trade it away when we could um, turn it into more valuable clothing. Build. Is it better to build another tailor alongside it or to expand? The thing is, when you expand, it sacks all the employees, doesn't it? They would perhaps stop production as well. Whereas if I build another one next to it, they can continue just to, you know, work away. And uh, yeah, that's what I'll probably do. But uh, another carpenter's is tempting. Oh, 21k! We have managed to export some stuff. What did we export? We have exported some furniture. So somebody's put in an order for 64. Great! Oh, and our money has gone down to 36, which presumably means we've um, placed an order for the metal. So once we get those metal bars, we'll be able to get the wood cutter, we'll get some of these torches going. Perhaps a bit frivolous, to be honest, to spend the metal on the torches, but hey, it'll put a little smile on their faces, so that's worthwhile. Getting on with the half. This vegetable farm is almost uh, complete. That's quite nice by here, isn't it? Sort of, you know, stone cobble um, road is a nice tree there. Beyond it, the farms. They're getting the hearth. Yeah. And then beyond them, they just have the views of the rolling plains with the animals and the, uh, the forest off to the side. Very idyllic. Very idyllic indeed. At the moment. So, yeah, they're continuing to clear away the stone. We've actually got a fair bit now, 149, but I will I will let them carry on, because uh, it'll always be useful. So we've got the hearth. It apparently needs wood, yeah, to, to fuel the fire. There we go, it's got some. Not enough. So we've got the farm completed, the hearth is completed, the road is completed, and um, we should be getting some metal. Let's have a little look at trade. Uh, so, inbound, 192 metal. Fair enough. So we were able to trade away the furniture for... Um, for the metal. We just have this vast forest, you see, all around us. I kind of think that carpentry is um, is a way to go. Hmm. The janitor's got four, five employees for the janitors, keeping everything going. It's quite labour-intensive. 
but I suppose, um, you know, I suppose repair work is quite uh, quite involving sometimes. So uh, yeah, let's. It's a choice between leather or carpenter. Um, I think we'll we'll go leather first. So let's um, workshop leather tailor and um, yeah, I want it to be nice and nice and big. Uh, I go like that, but then that is not what I want. No. So uh, let's find it again. Another tailor, so right, so in like that, then I suppose, because it goes out an additional block. Oh, but then you're gonna mm, okay, right, so like that, in like that, that should be a decent sized uh, space. So we'll have workbenches, one there, and then well, why can't you okay, that's a bit of a shame, uh, yeah, so that you can get around there I suppose. Hmm. So we'd have what one there, one there. Hmm. Perhaps we should turn them. How big are the auxiliary stations? So if I had a workbench along here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we need to um, expand it by one. So workbench, we could have ones like that, and then the auxiliary stations off here, and then workbench, auxiliary station. Mm. What if you had them here? No, it cuts off part of the room then. So let's uh, let's get rid of these. Workbench. Let's uh, so if we put them like this. So one there, then another one, then another one, then another one, and oh, why can't? Oh, that's a shame. That's um, this is going to be quite the little uh, quite the factory. Right there we go. So you've got. Plenty. Oh, so we can shrink it in one. Can I shrink? Let me just get rid of that one just to make sure it's. Oh, damn it. I uh... let's just shrink the room again. That's right. Shrink. I want to make sure that that workbench is valid. Shrink the room. Workbench. There we go, right on the end. And then the auxiliary stations can be alongside like that. And we'll have the door. Um, yeah, sort of in line with the corridor there. And. Uh, Let's get that constructed, and then we'll have uh, plenty of uh, areas where our um, leather tailors can, leather tanners can get on. Have we got the metal yet? No, not yet. Then I can build little wooden, uh, well, not wooden, stone. We'll go with, you know, we'll have stone paths up alongside here. Um, I said wooden because I was thinking about uh, the trees and uh, that we would probably need quite a lot of wood for this. So let's go with uh, clearing those and uh, some of that as well. Let's allow some more immigrants. Yeah, another two. Great. Oops. 
so oh the half minus ten okay available ten right so um it is activated so they can enjoy it when they need to I assume the uh, the metal is still on its way inbound 192 yeah We've got uh, 35 people. We could have another immigrant. I'll leave it for the moment. Everybody's getting on with... Well, not everybody, quite a lot of people are getting on with uh, clearing the area for the leather tailor. Oh, is that the metal? It is the metal! There's lots of metal! Plenty of metal! Oh, well done. Who are you? Let's just uh, drop the speed down. Who are you? He's this like little trader dude who comes along. Awesome. So they will now take the metal and uh, yeah. These guys have no longer got exclamation marks. Hey, and we can get the woodcutter going as well. Which will hopefully give us a better supply of wood. Which will allow the, you know, the furniture makers to carry on. There we go. He's uh, he's he's doing it. He's doing it. So he's doing it slowly. Carry on. It's only a torch, mate. He's achieved half of it. Presumably that was uh, I don't know sorting out the base. There we go. Torch has been completed. So I think when it goes dark, it will it will fire up, literally. And the metal, the metal is gone. Presumably already being used on all these building projects. Um, did we have a, did we have a crate for metal actually? No. Yes, yes we did in this warehouse here. So they've just taken it from the trade depot and uh, popped it in the, uh, in the warehouse. It's snowing now, so I bet they're glad of their leathers. Seven hundred and forty-four meat. Let's um, let's go with um, another two. I assume. So let's have a look at status. So next one is leader, which will allow us some booze. Um, and um, yeah, we'll unlock uh, flat houses, uh, canteens, and taverns. So um, it might be at that point that we, um, do we start thinking about a military at that point. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you know whether the... Uh, I know they sort of come and uh, attack you, but I don't know about the um, the size of the raids or what they do. Do they burn everything to the ground? Do they um, kill your people? Do they take over your settlement? I do not know. I do not know. So we've got one metal here, guys. We just need one more metal. And a bit of furniture. That should not be beyond us. Oh, here come the new uh, the new immigrants. Uh, where are you? There you are, um, Brood and Stone. He's got a face that looks like he, you know, it's good for brooding. And who's this one? Jack Aquits. Aquits. Oh, he's only sixteen. Bless him. 16 and on his own, eh? What, um, what happened there? Did he fall out with his dad? Was his dad smacking his mum? Oh, the bitter, bitter backstory that could be involved there. Um, alternatively, maybe he was just a little tyke who um, set off thinking, uh, you know, 
There were bigger and better things for him to be doing out there. Oh, hey, the torches are alight. Cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, well, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna like build big defensive walls. We're gonna have torches. It's, uh, oh, that hearth is firing up. Look at him, he's, uh, he's enjoying the hearth. Things are moving on. Oh, 30 furniture. Oh, gosh. Maybe a big furniture building, you know, factory, warehouse, workshop type of building would have been, um, would have been a better investment. But, uh, oh well. Do we have metal? Yeah, 25 metal. So, come on guys, honestly. We need another metal here and we need some furniture. These chaps are uh, producing the furniture. The question is, do they go to the trade depot first? And if they're in the trade depot, do they then... Um, can they use them for building tasks? Because I'd kind of want... Um, I'd want my building tasks to be the priority. Janitor walking to a job site. Are you repairing or are you building? What are you doing? What are you doing, Milu? Mila? You are... Oh, you've put... Oh, you've put the other bit of furniture down, you legend! Awesome. So all we need now is somebody with equal genius and initiative to come and uh, pop a bit of metal down and then we can get our woodcutter on the go. We're going to need new dormitories soon. Let's have a look. Uh, noise. Yeah, so nobody should be upset by noise whilst they're sleeping. Though, if you listen to the racket of all those people snoring, um, that is probably the major concern rather than... Uh, industrial action. A little bit like my missus snoring, it has to be said. Uh, not in her presence, but otherwise it has to be said. Uh, oh god, I thought he was dead! He was just like splayed out. Was he stargazing or something? But uh, anyway, no... No harm done. So we've got even more metal now, guys, so there's no excuse for somebody not to Use their, use their little nonce and, um, you know, bring a bit of metal over to the woodcutter. Because, um, nah, I suppose it's, maybe it's because they're still involved in chopping wood. I get this with RimWorld, you know, you queue up absolutely a million jobs and then you get frustrated why nothing's happening and it's because they're on job number one and you're looking at number a million and um, you know you just need to be patient not overwhelm them no storage for produce egg well we've got we got this haven't we okay well I could I could add eggs we can add an egg store let's do that there we go so hopefully that'll encourage some uh, egg production egg gathering, however however you produce the eggs. Seven wood out of 105, guys, we're at the start of a very long journey here. But you, it is within somebody's power to complete this task. What are you up to? Fail to catch prey. Well, go catch a bar of metal and bring it over here. That will raise your self-esteem. I'll certainly think better of you. What do you have to do? Oh, stalking prey, okay. That's fine. I really shouldn't have started this until this one was uh, was completed, but... Uh, they'll get to it, they'll get to it. Hey, the dormitory is full. We are going to need another dormitory. I wonder whether I should build a builder post or something like that? Let's have a look. 
So, how, how big is the bit? Oh, right. Yeah, I see. Oops. <laughs> I right-clicked and it just happened to save at the same time. I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd done something. Walking to a job site. That looks like it would, though, which would suggest you're off to go to the leather tailor construction rather than the wood cutter construction. I'd love to be wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Oh, and I'm happy to see progress. Oh, no, no, it's more wood. If only we had a woodcutter with which to provide us with more wood. What are you up to? Fail to catch prey. Okay. The uh, snow is coming down. Look at this massive pile of metal. 32. In fact, there's, there's more metal over here. So we have abundant sources of metal, guys. Just need somebody to um, pick up a bit. Anyway, they're getting on with their, their leather tailor. Uh, which, yeah, we may not have sufficient wood. Oh, we've got 87. Um, yeah, we've, we've got enough. So I'm not going to queue up any more tasks until somebody deals with this woodcutter. So, you know, if you want your beer, if you want your fine things in life, like roofs over your head while you sleep, you will sort out this woodcutter. It is the second day of winter. Okay, so we've got a little way to go. Plenty of stone piled up. Um, perhaps I should dedicate another, another crate to stone, actually. So then they uh, will come and gather all this up for us. So then I'll have a more accurate uh, representation of how much stone I've got. So I'm wondering, do I build, you know, maybe... Um, Maybe a keep or something here to um, to protect this initial area. At least ring it, with, you know, ring it with a pal palisade wall, perhaps. Or is that just not needed at this stage of the game? Let's bang the speed up. It looks like all the trees have been chopped, all the rocks have been cleared. So there really is no excuse now. Hey, 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 hey! Yes, finally! Who are you? Brood and Stone! 36. Well done. You achieved more than people much older and much more experienced than you have achieved. This is this would be an argument in favour of immigration, guys. He is a new immigrant and did the task that the people who have been here for much, much longer failed to do. So I'm just saying. We are going to need a lot of furniture. And um, I suppose they want to get everything else done first and then when the, the rest of the construction is complete, maybe then the furniture will come from the carpenters. So construction is now progressing at a steady, if not it's not spectacular, pace. Quite a slow pace. I mean, you think a woodcutter is literally, you know, give the guy an axe, maybe have a pile for the wood, and uh, away you go. You know, you might want some sort of uh, kind of wood chopping block, uh, maybe somewhere where you can saw it, you know, that kind of stuff. But really, we're talking very rudimentary stuff here, guys. Still need more wood for the leather tailor, but I suppose they're getting on with this. And uh, once they've done the wood cutter construction, that will be one task left. And uh, i tell you what, guys, on that sort of more positive note, I will end the video here. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you have, do like and subscribe. 
and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much.